2019. That's when I wrote my JE Advanced exam. And the day after I wrote my JE Advanced exam, I came to know that I will not be getting admission into a top IIT and a top branch. And I I knew for a fact that I would not get a rank of less than 3,000 or 4,000, which means that I will have to drop my plans of going to an IIT, maybe join an NIT or a bits. And trust me, it's been five years since I have written JE Advance and a lot of things have changed. Today I'm going to tell really you three things. Three things is going to really, really help you out. If you're someone who's writing JE Advance in 2024 and who've written JE Advance 2024 and you're going to college, this is going to be a very useful video. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that your branch matters a lot in the short term and your college brand name matters a lot in the long term. Let me explain a little bit more on the, that because to be very honest, your placement is just a mix of few things if you're in a very, very good college. Your branch, your CGPA and your skill set. And trust me, if you're in a great branch and if you really, really love your branch, you will end up getting a really good GPA and if you build up your skill set up to a certain extent, trust me, you are going to do well in college and you will get a good job as well. But at the same time, a lot of people don't get into a good branch and because of that, they struggle. They literally have to drag themselves to college every day and they hate what they're studying. And because of that, his grades will be dropped, his interest will not be, his arrears will be. And I know a friend of mine who got into IIT Madras, he got into naval architecture. And another friend of him, he got metallurgy and none of them were interested in the branches that they were studying in. And because of that, they had to spend an extra year at IIT and then they had to spend their time clearing the whatever backlog exams that they had over the four years. So one thing that you really, really, really have to understand is that you will have to make a trade-off for branch or college unless you have very, very good rank. Even if you have, a, let's say, a rank of like 200, 300, even then if you belong to a not so great rank category, even then you'll have to make certain trade-offs. So make sure you're smart about these kind of trade-offs. And the second thing is that I remember a very, very beautiful line from Kota Factory where Jitu Bhaiya has this very nice quote where he says that even after you get into a college there is going to be a constant struggle of improving and upskilling wherever you go so it doesn't matter if you get into a good college or not. You will have to constantly work on yourself and improve yourself. There is no other way around because if you, the minute you stop working on yourself, the minute you stop improving, that's when you start feeling insecure. It's been what close to like seven, eight months since I graduated and I still feel insecure when I see my peers. Most of the peers that I work with, they are from IIT, they're from top IITs. And when I look at them, I need, I feel the need for me to improve and work on myself. Even they also feel the necessity to improve when they see their peers and their seniors. Because when you just get into the industry, you don't know anything. You just quickly learning a lot of things and implementing things. There is a huge steep learning curve for you. And the more you learn, the more you grow. And if you stop learning, then you will, trust me, you will not feel good about yourself. So don't get into that mindset that I got into certain college, so I'm going to stop working hard. There's no place that you can go and shove yourself into saying that, no, I'm not going to work hard. And generally, the more the competitive the college is and more competitive your branch is, the more insecure you'll feel because you'll have much, much smarter people around you. And I know many of my friends from IIT Bombay CS, and they were telling me like how much they were struggling. They got, I know a friend of mine, he got all in around 33 and he was telling me that he was struggling every day. Like he was just struggling to keep up with his peers, struggling to just cope up with high amount of competition that he has to go through in his day-to-day -day life. And that's the same for everybody. Don't just think that I'm in a not so good college and I'm at a disadvantage. People who have actually done well in IIT also, they will also have problems such as this. And the most important thing, the most important thing is that you still have a month left for several important competitive examinations. There's several competitive examinations which have the second attempt left. I know for a fact that BITSAT second attempt is left out. So do keep preparing for BITSAT as much as possible. Keep pushing yourself. If you're new here, my name is Hari and I got 314 BITSAT. BITSAT 2019 and it's been an amazing four years for me in BITSAT and I got to learn a lot and at the same time 
what we try to do is we try to create an amazing test series and a great community for Bitsan aspirants who are going to write Bitsan in 2024. Several people have already attempted the test series and several people have gotten great scores, which gives us immense joy. People have gotten 334, 307, 310, 301. These are some of the scores that people have got in our community. So do check out the test series from Bitsat Buster. It's going to really, really help you a lot in your final 30 days of preparation. We promise you to give you as much help from our side, which is required to boost your score to the next level. And trust me, most people stop preparing in this last few days. And because of this, they lose the boost that they're supposed to get. When J Advance gets over, their mind just turns off. They're like, okay, my exams are done. I've worked for two years and I'm not going to do any more work. But this is a chance for you to go and improve and show yourself, right? This 30 days, if you prepare and if you just work really hard and if you plan properly and try to understand where do I get an advantage? And how will I get an extra 30, 40 marks in my score, an extra 50 marks in my score? Then trust me, you will have an altogether different life altogether. Because it there's a huge difference between getting a tier to college and being a chemical engineering versus coming to an NID or let's say a bits having a decent score, even a lower branch. I wouldn't say a lower, lower branch, but then in terms of cutoffs, even let's say a dual degree or even say something like a mechanical or an ENI or a chemical, right? The exposure will be different. The opportunities will be different. The way you see things later on in your life will also be influenced a lot by your college. So do give a lot of importance to your second attempt of Bitsat and do check out Bitsat Buster. It's going to be really, really going to be a game changer for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video will be about your 30-day preparation plan for Bitsat. And until then, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.